Hola, guys. Happy Saturday. <sighs> it's already Sunday. Is it? Is it past midnight? It's 12.52. It's 12.53 now. Golly. This day has just flown by. It is 12.53. Okay. And oh, yeah. I want celery and ranch dressing. <sighs> Anywho. Someone is camped out behind me playing some video game. It's called so, Roblox. The Roblox. Best, best game ever. Best game ever, apparently. Um, and I have a little collection of things that I have purchased since we last saw each other. And it just finally accumulated to enough to make a video. Um, I was going to Dollar Tree for necessities. Our thrift stores did open, but I'm still too scared to go. And trust me when I tell you, it hurts my soul not to go. I have two bags ready to donate for Goodwill. Uh, but I know if I go donate them, I'm going to want to walk in with my little 20% off coupon that they give you for donating. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go there. I already work in a potential Petri dish. I don't need to go shopping in a potential petri dish even though most places are potential petri dishes it's just i'm not ready to add another petri dish to my rotation does that make sense okay oh so it's happy it's mother's day happy mother's day to my mommy's watching happy mother's day to yeah, it's already Sunday. mother's stepmothers happy mother's day. thank you love bug foster mothers aunties grandmothers Anybody who provides maternal care for a child, anybody who loves and cares for and provides and kisses boo-boos and, and um, just loves a child, happy Mother's Day to all of you mommies out there. What do you mean boo-boos? You know when you hurt yourself? Oh, mommies, yeah. daddies too, but mommies will fix it. Like your cat scratch? Yeah. Ozzy slipped. Well, he, and, did by, well, he did it by accident. Yeah, he did it by accident, but he got him on the way down. Anywho, um, I'm going to start in on the little things that I have found uh, because there's some cute crap in here. Uh, and my memory is tripping as per usual. Um, and I've uninstalled a few apps so I can get this done. So I'm going to grab the few little, first few little things. And these are apparently very, very dainty. And majority of this is all Dollar Tree. Now, I found these at Dollar Tree, and these were new to my Dollar Tree. And, ooh, I had gone to Dollar Tree, but I was going in for what I needed and in and out. So I hadn't really looked around. Uh, and I looked around, and I don't know if these people had time on their hands now because a lot of people weren't going in. They totally redid the store, at least my store, the one I go to often. And they upped the ante on craft supplies i'm not crafty but i was so excited for people that are that are going to walk in and see the level of craft supplies that they have now and i took a little snippet of film and i will insert it and you guys can see that hey guys i found some little things and i bet you like it <laughs> okay guys look at the level of crafting things at dollar tree now i don't know about this brand and these uh, little paints, but that's a nice size for a buck. I hadn't been in here in a while because of everything going on, but they seem to have rearranged mine and added all kinds of awesome crafty stuff. I'm impressed and I'm not even crafty like that. But I just thought y'all might want to sneak a peek if y'all haven't been out and about. All types of wood forms. Their stickers, their sticker level is awesome. They have really cute stuff. Look at those little cupcakes. They have the chalk writers and gloss paint writers. Huge assortment of glue sticks. Glitter and clear. Look at this. For a buck. So impressed. Okay. Now for me. This broke, okay? I didn't notice it was broken. I didn't find a broken piece in the bag, so I think it broke from shelf to register i'm not sure but i'm gonna get me some white play-doh which a little dude has and i'm gonna make me the piece that's missing in there and i got 
four of these because there are scripture on them. Hey, what's the fourth one? Did I only get three? No, here's four. This one says, God will make a way. This one says, I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. This one says, saved by grace, Ephesians 2, 8. And this one says, have faith, God is with you. Now, the reason I bought this was because there was scripture on it and there were spiritual things on here, but also because the puzzle pieces are a symbol of autism. And y'all know my little dude is autistic. So when I see these types of things, it kind of hits me all in the mommy heart. And I just thought they were awesome. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I think I want to display them with my plants. Not outside, probably inside. Because they're made out of that chalky stuff. They ain't going to last out there. Um, I've been trying to play gardener again. If y'all are my buddies, darn it. That one chipped. White nail polish. Okay, I'm, I'm going to save these. And you know, a little bit of rough and tumble around some plants. I don't think it'll hurt too bad. <sighs> this is the one I showed you guys. Okay, so it's one broken one, one chipped one. Anywho, I've been trying to play happy gardener. Nothing that I planted is going to survive, but for the moment, it's really, really cute. So I think I'm going to scatter those around my little, uh, my little display on my windowsill. Uh, speaking of gardening, I found these picks for plants, for potted plants. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. I buy these every year. I'm such a sucker for these things. And I had not seen a little windmill. And I got my mommy a beautiful flowering plant for Mommy's Day. And I'm going to nestle this in there uh, tomorrow morning. Well, here in the next few hours. When I go see my mommy. I feel so cheap just buying a plant. Because she's done so much for me. But she's hard to shop for. And she has a green thumb. I don't. I don't. But she does. So I'm going to keep this one for me. A little tree that I planted. And this for her flowering little bush, well, big bush. That don't sound right for her potted plant. Sorry. Anyway, I got those two. So cute. Ugh. I got some bulbs because I have a ceiling fan in the bedroom downstairs that all the bulbs went kaput at one time or another. And when they pop, like when they burn out, they pop. So they'd pop out of the actual socket and it took me forever to get in there and unscrew the socket so I finally got the bulbs out I only had two needed two more so I got those three-way bulbs I can't find three-way bulbs and I have lamps that use three-way bulbs you know those cheapy Walmart seven dollar ones that t -t 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 go like that I can't find three-way bulbs this is the first time I found them at Dollar Tree in quite a while even before the whole you know stay at home I could not find three-way bulbs, so I found a few and I grabbed some. I left some behind because somebody else might be struggling to find some. I got some quart size baggies because we're supposed to be having this meat shortage. Uh, I'm not taking any chances. I buy the big giant um, family pack of meat and then I separate it by pound and sometimes even half pound because little dude eats like a bird. So even if I were to cook half a pound for his tacos or tostadas or burritos or whatever, it's plenty for me and him, half a pound. So I separate by pound depending on what I'm going to make or half pound depending on what I'm going to make. So I needed that because I bought a humongous family pack today. I got a body wash, Coast Essentials, because it smells good and it took me back to the 80s. Not the body wash, but Coast, the brand. And it smells so good. Got a little dude more of his um, Ultra Max Arm & Hammer. He loves that stuff. I got two picture frames, not what I wanted. I want solid silver, but I do have touches of black in here and silver, so I'm gonna make it work. The reason I wanted these is because I printed out two uh, pictures that are my favorite pictures um, into eight by 10 at um, Walgreens, and I needed picture frames. I got four of these, white. Let me tell you why I bought these. Y'all know I have a projector, right? Y'all know I use my Walmart sheets as a screen, right? Worked lovely, but it was too heavy for the text that I was using, and they kept falling down. Made a movie, the screen would fall down. So I'm like, you know what? I don't know how good these are going to work considering they're very thin, uh, but I bought four to double up two on each side. I'm going to tape a seam where they meet, and I'm going to try these. These are much lighter. I think the thumbtacks are going to hold them up on the ceiling and we're gonna give it a try because I love that friggin projector love it but that screen has become a nightmare so I'm gonna give that a try 
And I had also bought some reflective ones a while back because somebody gave me the idea that if you put something reflective behind the white, it'll make the colors more vibrant. I know I got, I told you guys that when I hauled those ones, they've been sitting there because I didn't notice any difference between the one that I put up behind the sheets. I didn't notice any difference, but because these are thinner, maybe the colors will reflect more. I don't know. Hear me trying to sound all scientific. We'll figure it out. So I got that. Um, I got this and this for my friend at work. God bless her. Her phone is always dying and she never has a charger on hand. So I just grabbed these for her. I'm going to put them in a drawer and the next time she's like, I don't have a charger. I'll have this ready for her. I bought some socks. Now mind you, this is an all in one trip. This is since I've seen you guys last I'm such a sucker for socks. Look at those pretty little daisies and poker dots. Love them. I got some books. I know I get long-winded, so I'm not going to be able to give y'all details, but this one is adorable. Me and little dude are going to get into it very, very soon. Wipeout of the Wireless Weenies. It is a wipeout of the Wireless Weenies and other warped and creepy tales. I think there's like three or four short stories in here. A boy and his family narrow escape a zombie apocalypse, or do they? A girl neglects her cat's litter box and finds herself in a heap of trouble. And a group of clicking, scrolling, tapping wireless weenies find themselves on the edge of disaster. I don't know what that's about, but I think it's going to be cute. It'll keep his reading up since we've been doing this whole homeschooling like everybody else around the country. I thought it'd be fun for him. Ooh, what kind of damage did I do to this thing? These have been sitting around this particular bag. Um, What is the name of it? Oliver Loving, a novel by Stephen Merrill Block. Um, if y'all want to know what it's about, just because I don't want to run out of memory and y'all know I can prattle on about a book, just ask me and I will tell y'all if y'all have read it, let me know if y'all liked it. And this one is The Decent Proposal, a novel. Again, if y'all want to know what it's about, let me know and I'll put it down in the comments. This poor bag has been through it, man. I went ahead and bought the seafoam green slippers that I mentioned in my last haul, but I didn't realize that they were covered toes, and I don't know how to feel about that. I'm going to wear them because I have them, and because the color's pretty, and because I do get good wear out of the Dollar Tree slippers, but I really like my toes to do all that, you know, wiggle wiggle. So, hmm, grab that. They finally had my size. I had these last haul, and then I put it back because... I'm leery of green on my Band-Aid skin color. It can work or it can look really, really bad, but it's hard candy and it was a dollar. And I went ahead and bought the green shades. We'll see. I figure green with the brown eyes, oh, it feels new. might work. But like I said, I gotta be careful with greens and blues. Sometimes it don't work. I could not leave this behind. It's a glass colander. Isn't that cute? That is so pretty. I went through their dishes. I don't need no dishes. I ain't got no room for no dishes. But this was really cute. It's Signature Brand Housewares Incorporated. And it's this cute little colander. And I love yellow. Can't go wrong with yellow. I showed you guys the crafting supplies. And I couldn't resist some of this stuff. I'm not crafty. But when I do craft these things or when I get an idea in my head, these things I think are gonna come into play. I wanna do little picks using old soda cans. I saw it on some website and uh, I went ahead and got the embossing stylus for that. You can press in little designs on the, on the, the color side of the Coca-Cola can and then it'll be embossed on the silver side. You just gotta fold the edges a certain way so you don't slice yourself open. And I wanna do picks for the plants that I've been planting, so I got that. I got finger protectors because every now and then I will sew. I hate to throw away socks. I hate to throw away a nice shirt with just a little hole in it. So every now and then I do sew. I have one thimble. I'm hoping this works like a thimble, I'm not sure. These craft clamps, because I'm also always trying to save broken things, I will glue them and sometimes a clamp would help. So I grabbed these and I grabbed another uh, utility knife. This just comes in handy for lots of little things, you know, lots of little repairs around the house. And I have one, but I only had one good blade and I thought this was awesome for a book. And then this piercing and scoring tool set. I don't know why I would need to pierce or score anything but they were too cute and I just may need them. So I grabbed that. Uh, the other few things I'm gonna show you are just random. We were at Walmart today buying groceries 
and I picked up some waxes this amazing peach papaya my house can't stink guys okay I got two cats now I ain't taking no chances this is my absolute favorite girlfriend night and it made it into the bin, so this probably won't last very long. I should have bought more, but I couldn't fathom spending too much money on waxes. And there were so many more other ones that I really wanted to try. So I only bought one, and I'm going to try and use this sparingly. Maybe I'll get some more. I'm not sure if I can find them. This one I bought just because of the blowy. Both of my boys loved blowing these little blowies, and it, it like hit my mommy heart. It's called Blue Sky, and it's very light, very spring very awesome it smells like a nice light perfume it's very perfumey that's what it reminded me of perfume and little dude loves this one so every time he sees it he asks if we can burn it he's a little tender nosed like his mama uh this is random but you know we're all wearing masks and my doctor's son's friend's mother made a batch of different little masks for us and this is the one I picked I wonder why I wonder why this kitty's cut in half but I wonder why I picked it out got that 99 cent only women playing all up in the yard spraying each other water gun fights water hose fights bucket water fights all kinds of fights because that's just what we do and uh, I needed another one of these for my extra water hose it's just a little longer it'll reach the car when I want to wash it instead of having to unscrew these off the other two this one is going to be for my car wash one so I grabbed one of those I got a mouse pad this 99 cent only did I say that no not yet I showed you the mask 99 cent only so this was 99 cents this was 99 cents a little mouse pad I have a little tablet thingy small mini laptop I don't know what it's called I ain't techie uh but it's one of those where you have to the mouse is on the pad. I am so old school. Give me a mouse, okay? I don't want my finger on the pad and the press and the... I, no, that confuses me. It doesn't move fast enough. It gets on my nerves. So I got a mouse that I'm going to attach to it. didn't have a mouse pad. So I bought a mouse pad. Um, I found this at Family Dollar. I hadn't watched it. I watched the previews and read some reviews. And I think it'll be okay for Little Dude, considering I've watched Let Him Watch mutilating kind of videos like text chainsaw massacre i think get out is going to be safe uh i bought that at family dollar or dollar general one of them um we also picked up us i think at walmart i don't remember where we picked this up i think this movie is terrible it is not at all what i expected it is not at all what i consider a scary movie it's very intense uh but i did not like it i like her i love her and the cast and everybody was good, but it's not what I expected. I expected a super scary movie, and I got kind of a, huh? Kind of a movie. Y'all watched it? Did y'all like it? Were y'all disappointed? Were y'all also as confused as I was? But he loves it. He absolutely loves it. There's one part where <laughs> um, NWA's F the Police song comes on, and I can't deal with it, so he mutes it, or he forwards it. I think that's funny because he knows how tender I am to the F-bomb, especially. Unless I'm really, really mad, then you won't hear me say it. But he'll skip through that scene. But he loves it. He loves this freaking movie. Only other things I have to show you guys are what I purchased for myself for Mother's Day. An early Mother's Day present. And that was my Max Selena Me Siento Muy Excited palette. And my Max Selena Selena Vive lipstick, if my memory allows. Y'all know I hardly wear makeup, but when I do, I like to pretty my face up bougie, fancy, okay? Y'all know I'm all about the natural tones. This is a little lighter than the one she came out with the last go-around, and I love that one. I was going to get the red one, but I really don't do red, um, so I know I wouldn't have used it, but I got that one. It's called Selena Vive, and I love Selena, okay? I still do, but... I'm not going to buy everything just because her name was emblazoned on it. Emblazoned? Emblazoned on it? I bought what I like and what I know I'll use. Look at that pretty little boosty caca um, top. And you open it and there's Selena. There's Selena, little paper. Cover insert and then those are the colors. Now most of these I'm going to stay away from. Well, maybe not this one. But these are me. This is me. These little ones are a little too young for me, I think. But, oh, my closet. Y'all seen how y'all perched in my closet. But I wanted it. Uh, the last palette she came out with, I didn't really like. 
But this one I thought was really pretty and I just decided I was going to spurl myself for Mother's Day a little bit. Now the only other thing, do not laugh at me, do not judge. Okay, Oswald, squish. Do y'all remember me making copies of all the Hollywood starlet pictures? I don't know if y'all can. Please don't fall. Forgive the fan. Oh, goodness. By the time I get y'all over there. Okay. Y'all see these? I made copies of these black and white pictures so I could put... Eh, don't fall. So I could put them in here while I'm at it again. But this time I went a little different only because... We were slow at work. Tupac. Y'all know me. I love Tupac. These are random. Madonna. Jake Gyllenhaal. If y'all know me at all. Chalina. Selena, because look at that smile. Oh, my gosh. Loved her. I thought this one was beautiful of Madonna. This is probably going to be framed somewhere up in my room. This is when I was my most Madonna freakish back in her Papa Don't Preach days. Oh my gosh, beautiful photo. Beautiful. Okay, I went all back 80s and I have become obsessed with Boy George all of a sudden. I watch interviews of him. And considering the guy went through horrendous heroin addiction, he before and after is seems like such an incredible, awesome human being. I just love him. And I started listening to his music again and I became obsessed. So eh. and this is him now. I love that photo. So amazing. And then the others are just photos that I, oh no, hold on, here's another. I have been wanting this poster and everywhere I go it's sold out and I'm not going to spend $16, $18 for it online when I can get it, if they ever restock it, for like 12 at Walmart. So I printed me out one. Tupac, yes. Poet, absolute poet. I loved him. This one of little dude in front of a Selena mural at our favorite, one of our favorite burger joints here in Oak Cliff. It's called Country Burger. The whole burger joint is decked out in Selena memorabilia and posters and everything. And on the outside, somebody painted a mural and that's little dude at the mural. So I thought I would print that. And then the other ones are just photos that I printed of my family that I wanna uh, post up. And this is Princess. And Jay Birdie. I don't have any pictures of her. I have a lot of pictures of little dude. And um, these are the two pictures that I bought the 8x10 frames for. This is my favorite picture in the whole wide world of my two boys. This is Michael and that is Caleb. This was probably a week after he was born because I wasn't able to see him for the first four days after he was born and nobody else could go in for a week. So it was about a week after he was born and this is my favorite picture in the whole wide world. I have different sizes of it and different um, colorings. I have a sepia one, but this is an eight by 10 that I want in my room. And then this is my mommy. This is my mommy right now. It's her Christmas picture. I just thought she looked so serene and so peaceful and she hates taking pictures, but I just love the way she looked in this one. And again, I have smaller versions of it, but I wanted a big one for my room. So that's what I'm putting in those frames. And that is everything. I posted a question to you guys. If I did it right, you guys might see it on um, as an alert or whatever on, uh, on YouTube. I asked you guys if you all wanted a story time because I don't plan on going thrifting anytime soon. Uh, and I still want to connect with you guys. So if I put it through correctly, I asked you guys if you wanted a story time and then I listed certain subjects on there. Some of those subjects might shock a lot of you guys, might shock all of y'all because there's some pretty um, intense subjects that nobody knows about me, but maybe y'all want to talk about it. Uh, I think I'm ready to talk about it or we can just keep it whimsical or whatever. Or y'all can suggest something, but let me see if little dude wants to say goodnight and I cannot believe that memory didn't die. Hang on. Yeah. Why you always got to cross your eyes? You know, the cat's behind you. Don't make any sudden moves. Our hair lady is not coming back just yet. Uh, well, they opened the salon. Like that. Like that. How? Like that? Yeah. They opened the salons here in Dallas, uh, but she's a little leery of, of coming back, and I don't blame her. But 
stop crossing your eyes or if they're gonna stick like that oh my goodness but anywho <sighs> Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all are keeping safe, and I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day. Uh, any of you hurting because your mothers are not around anymore, my heart hugs, love, and kisses to you guys. I can only imagine. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and until my next go-around, love y'all bunches. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>